Hello friends, welcome back after a long time to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Labware application. So in this video we will be working on adding role functionality so that only the admin user will have access to this dashboard because currently every users that we have created are able to access this dashboard. So we don't need to make this happen right because this is admin dashboard so only the admin users will have access to this dashboard. So currently let me show you the demo that Currently, we are logged in as John. So, let me log in as another user to show you. Let me log out, log in again, and then let me use this user and then sign in. See, we are able to access this dashboard by another users because which is not good because this is admin dashboard, so only admin should be able to access this. So, let's make this workable now so that only the admin will have access to this dashboard. So, let's get started. So first of all, let me log out this and log in as John. And then we will be making the John as admin users later. Okay. So first of all, let's create a middleware by PSP audition middleware. Let's give it a name called administrator. and this middleware is created inside of app http middleware and then administrator okay over here let's add the condition over here so let's do if the user is authenticated we can do auth check if the user is authenticated and authenticated user is admin then we will allow that users to have access to the dashboard right otherwise we will abort for three so now let me go back and then refresh the page still we don't see anything so first of all we need to register this middleware instead of kernel kernel of PSP file so in route middleware let's do define a middleware called admin right and then which is inside of and the file is inside of app http middleware and the class name is administrator okay so actually we don't need this okay so now we need to add this middleware in our routes file so let's go to routes web.psp and over here we need to add that middleware right currently we have authentication middleware so let's do auth and then on the next item let's do admin admin is the name that we have added over here right so now let me refresh the page and it is saying that call to undefined method is admin so we haven't created that method so let's go to user.psv file and over here let's create that is admin method so is admin so if we written true over here then we will have access to this dashboard right because we have written true over here but if we written false then we will not have access to this dashboard if we go to appointments we will not have access to this this one as well it is showing 403 forbidden right so actually we will not be doing this we will be checking the role of the users so for that we can do this by different ways we can use the packages if we are doing the complex stuff like permissions but for simplicity let's add a new column called role and then we will define the role of the year so to do that let's do PSP audition take me a migrations call add draw field to users table okay so let's go to that file add role field to users table and over here let's do table string let's define a column called role and by default let's make this as user okay 
and on reverse migrations let's do table drop column and the column name is row okay so now let's migrate this using PSP RDSM migrate and it is successfully migrated so let's go to the database and we have that role field over here so currently by default everything is set as user so let's do let's search for john as example.com and let's make this as admin okay perfect so now let's go back to the code and on users.psp instead of returning this false let's add a conditional over here so we can do if this role calls is not equals let's say is not equals to admin then we will return false otherwise we will return true okay so now if i go back and refresh the page we have access to this dashboard but if this user a role is user then we will not have access to this dashboard right so let's make back this admin and then we successfully added this functionality so now if i try to log in as this user so let's try this let me log in and then if i log in we don't have the access to the export and it is saying for three forbidden and which is perfect okay so now let's log out we are not able to log out so let's do cookies and then remove it and then let me go back to the main page and then log in again as zone at example.com so now let's refactor the code uh, to make it look even better so instead of using the spring over here we can define this on as constant so to do that let's do over here let's define a constant called role admin and its value is admin also we can define another constraint called role user and it will be as user so instead of writing this as admin we can do self role admin okay which will return admin and we are still able to access this which is good so now let's refactor let's go to web.php and then refactor this code in web.php we are writing this routes logic which is specifically to admin right so instead of writing this routes to web.php file we can create a separate file called admin.php and then copy everything related to admin routes over the year so let me copy it from here so actually let me cut it from here because we don't need it and then paste it over here so first of all let's define this PSP and then paste it okay so now if I go back and refresh the page and it is saying 404 not found so we need to fix this right so to fix this uh, we need to go to app and then providers app and then providers and then route service provider and on route service provider we can do simply do this we can copy this and then paste it over here so currently uh, we are using the web middleware okay fine this name is space group base path is routes and admin.psp now if I refresh this page it is saying invalid route action dashboard controller so let's go to web.psp and then copy cut everything from here and then paste it over here okay and we need this as well now if I refresh the page and it is working but notice we are using the middleware over here as well so we don't need to do this so first of all let me copy it remove it and then let's indent it 
and on route service provider we can define the middleware as array so we can do wave authentication middleware and then admin middleware okay and it is still working perfect so here we are doing admin slash dashboard we are prefixing as admin admin slash user so so we can remove this duplication as well so let me remove it from here okay we completely removed it and we, we can go to route service provider and we can do prefix we can prefix as admin okay now let me refresh the page and it is still working but if we do not prefix with admin then we will get 404 not found okay perfect and also we see this route name is admin dot admin dot users and admin dot appointments we are repeating admin dot so we can fix this as well so let me remove it from here and we can do we can call the as method is and we can pass admin dot okay and it is still working but if we do not do this it will not work because it is saying route admin dot dashboard not defined okay and it is working so we successfully refactored the code as well so this must for this video i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel I will be uploading the videos like this. Till then, have a great time. I will see you on the next video.